My dear Redemptorist confreres, my dear Redemptoristine sisters, my dear sisters associated with our Redemptorist apostolate and charism, my dear Redemptorist lay missionaries, associates, collaborators, and benefactors, and you, my dear sisters and brothers, devotees of our Mother of Perpetual Help. You're very welcome to the eighth day of our novena in honor of our Mother of Perpetual Help. I invite you today to reflect with me on the symphony of colors presented through the robes of Jesus. The three colors now coming together, green, brown, and red. The icon painter, after spending months and months of prayer, mortification, reflection, presents the mystery of redemption, the mystery of grace, the mystery of our salvation through these three colors merging into one. The color green, depicting new life and hope, depicting divinity, Jesus, Son of God. The color brown depicting the earth, humility. Jesus, Son of Mary. Jesus, a human being. The color red, the girdle of Jesus. The color of the Spirit. The color of love. The color of martyrdom is the Spirit that unites the humanity and the divinity of Jesus. Fully human, fully divine, the Council of Chalcedon, 451. But the two colors come together through the working of the Holy Spirit. As the ancient Greek fathers would say, it is the Spirit who brings the two into one, the human nature and the divine nature into the one person, Jesus, through the power of the Spirit. So the painter, the icon painter, has given us, through these three colors, the mystery of theology, of redemption, of Jesus himself, fully God, fully human, through the power and working of the Holy Spirit. Mary, our mother, mother of perpetual health, offers us Jesus whom she holds in her arms, bringing us this great mystery of redemption, her son who is our salvation, who is our grace. Mary was chosen to experience that grace herself as she was preserved from sin by her son Jesus. And now she offers us Jesus, our Redeemer, fully God, her son, fully human, in the grace of the Spirit. This is theology. This is our faith. This is depicted through color in the icon on the robes of Jesus. Let us take a few moments to acknowledge that you and I need redemption every day. You and I need Jesus every day, every moment of the day. And Mary offers Jesus to us, our Redeemer, freedom from sin, freedom from guilt, freedom from shame, because he is God and man. He is our grace, our life, and our hope.
I invite you now to pray with me our Novena Prayer. O Mother of Perpetual Help, you are both rich and generous. You plead for all the gifts that God grants to us. You are the Mother of Hope for all sinners. Come then, dear Mother, for we turn to you. In your hands is Jesus, our salvation. We too are in your hands. We are your children. Take care of us, dear mother. For if you do, there is nothing to fear. From Christ, you plead for the forgiveness of our sins. With Christ, you are more powerful than all hell combined. With you on our side, we look forward to meeting our Redeemer, Jesus, your Son and our Brother. Our only fear is that in time of temptation, we may fail to call on you and become lost children. Obtain for us then, through your powerful intercession, the pardon of our sins, love for Jesus, final perseverance, and the grace always to call upon you, Mother of Perpetual Health. I invite you now to pray for your intentions, your petitions, through the intercession of our Mother of Perpetual Health. Let us pray together. Mother of Perpetual Health, Woman of Eternal Hope, your wordless gaze tells us so much about you. Knowing eyes look upon us with tender love. The slight bend of your head reveals such maternal concern. While your left hand supports the child, your right hand is ready to receive us too. Just as he feels the beating of your heart, so you encourage us to lead a life of hope and holiness. Just as his sandal will fall in your lap, through your intercession, may God pick us up as we stumble and fall. Never let us be parted from you and your Son, Jesus. Lady of Love, you invite us to place our hand where his fingers touch yours, near a heart of endless hope, so that we may be united often in prayer here on earth and join forever with you in heaven. Amen. Let us now unite with the Christians of all ages in praising Mary and in committing ourselves to her powerful protection. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, who gave us your Mother Mary, whose wondrous image we venerate, as a mother ready at every moment to help us, Grant that we who call on her help may always enjoy the fruit of your redemption. This we ask through you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.